In this training video, we're going to examine linking tasks together. So when Microsoft links any two tasks together, it links looking for a predecessor task. So for example, if Microsoft is linking task one and task two together, it would link, it would, it would look at task two, then look at the predecessor that would happen to be task one and link them together. So the task one finishes, then task two, the blue bar starts. So any task for to have a link has to have a predecessor task, which means a task comes before it. So we're just going to identify how this works with just linking two tasks together. So I'm going to double click the task two in this example. And I'm going to go on to predecessors and I'm going to link to one, which is my predecessor task. There's design job packs. Now it's got four kind of links. Finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, start to finish, and you can include none as a fifth link. So in effect, even though it's only got, it's showing four links, none is also a way of removing a link. So we'll just quickly examine these links. So if I look at finish to start, so what that's gonna mean between the two blue bars is the predecessor task, which is task one, is gonna finish, then the next task, which is successor task, will start. That's what finish start means. So I'm gonna click OK, and we can now see how the blue bars work. If I change the link, so I'm gonna double click, go to the next one, start to start. They now join together. And you can see a little line joining them together is a start to start link. What you'll also notice is in the predecessor column, it's an SS. If you ever wanted to write in a link, you can in the predecessor's column. But just be careful, because if it goes wrong, it can make project difficult to manage. But it can be done when you get used to these links. I'm just going to keep on double clicking for now. Next one, finish to finish. So they both finish at the same time. And this is in, in accordance with the length of either of the predecessor or successor. So in this example, the second task, which is the successor task, will finish with the predecessor because it, the predecessor is longer. But if the successor was longer, that means the predecessor task will then join the successor task. So it all depends on the length of the task. So finish to finish. And there we go, they both finish together according to the length of the task, which is the four day duration. If you look at the next one, start to finish. Now this even gives a message because we've got a project start date of the 30th of the 7th. Well, what this is gonna do, is gonna bring the successor task before the predecessor task. So it says to you, are you sure you want to start before the project start date? We're going to say yes. So this kind of task is not used often, but it needs to be looked at for certain occasions. Like an example of this kind of task would be preliminary work. So something that has to be done for preliminary work prior to the start of the project and you want to make a note of it within your project so you can see the preliminary work of it. I'm now going to do the double click again, but to show you again, there's a way of writing it in. That's one SF if it needed to be written in. And none to remove a link. So, in a real world, you wouldn't link one task together. I've only had to demonstrate this to show you how links works. But really, if you want to give yourself a safety net within your, your worlds and whatever projects you're constructing, the best way of doing it is to link all the projects together so you have some kind of safety net. Now, the way I'm going to do that is highlight all the tasks, which is at the top left of the table. So that all the tasks are now highlighted. Task tab. And there's a little chain that's called link the selected tasks. Now this is going to link them all together and it's going to give me a summary duration of the entire project as it stands. So link the selected tasks. 
and I've now got a 62 day project showing all the durations added together and what the blue means the blue means the effect of all the links we've just done together so it shows you what the effect is of pressing link the selected task but this completes the training video on linking tasks together looking at the different kinds of tasks knowing they can be typed in knowing they can be linked individually by double clicking a task and knowing the tasks can be linked all together by globally linking them using the select all tasks method and choosing the link the selected tasks if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching